Hello Aries, welcome or welcome back to the channel. I hope you're well. Let's jump into a general reading for you. Take any spiritual counsel that applies. Drop the rest. Hope you're blessed and highly favoured wherever you are in the world. Keeping it moving forward. All right, messages for Aries, please, Spirit. What do the Aries collective need to know at this time? Some of you are searching for something. It feels like clarity and guidance. As I said that, You've got the oldest one, the Hierophant. You could be going inwards. Some of you are trying to seek spiritual counsel from within or without. A proportion of you could be seeking the services of a counsellor at this time, a therapist. 55, you're experiencing changes. That's what I'm getting, Aries. Two of boons. You're trying to keep something going. There's a level of possibly discomfort in the amount of priorities and responsibilities that you're juggling at this time, but you're trying to keep things afloat. You're spinning a lot of plates. You're trying to, for some of you, enlist the support of others third parties to help you move forward to a fresh start you seem to be in your emotions about situations from your past as well i see you nostalgic at this time thinking back to something to do with your money maybe times when there was more stability or abundance around you wanting to recreate this There's resistance coming in. What's this resistance? The resistance, the challenge, you are facing challenges and it keeps on coming, very, coming up very strongly with regards to your responsibilities. Things that you are in charge of. Priorities, there was a lot of things weighing on your shoulders. You are in charge of 222 two, two on the clock. You're trying to make multiple sources of income as well to maybe alleviate some of the or balance out some of the other things, the outgoings and the ingoings, people that are relying on you, you're trying to find other sources and ways to alleviate financial constraints, mental burdens and baggage on you as well. Again, seeking third party support. Where you're able to lighten your load, get others to pick up some slack for you. I see you doing that. Once again, you've got the three of boons. Some of you are working with others to create financial abundance for yourself in the form of a new business, a new money making scheme, an initiative. For others of you, you are trying to level up or you have leveled up with regards to your spirituality. You could be spending a lot of time in nature, trying to center and ground yourself three, four, four on the clock. Divine feminine energy. That's what's coming out for you. Aries, you've abandoned a lot of things that have caused you emotional grief or you're being guided to. You're wiser for it. Mm. You have been or you're going through a lot right now. There's a lot of life lessons being taught to you. You might feel like the earth school isn't letting up right now. Like you are really, I'm hearing, you could be taking some losses. But I'm also hearing these losses are your gains long term. Wisdom is coming to you as a result of these losses. Once again, it's a mindset thing. It depends how you're choosing to take it. 
Yeah, two of challenges. What else, please? There's a level of confusion around you, is what I'm picking up on, and it's how to move forward. You don't feel like you have the right resources or adequate resources around you at this time. There could be distractions, disruptions to your plans. 100% It's about money or a business. Certain spanners in the work are at play for you. And you just want to move forward into a new beginning. Try to quieten the noise. Try to quieten the noise I'm hearing. Go within. Take time to be by yourself. Mm -hmm. Five, five, five on the clock. You're in a transformative time. And it could be very uncomfortable for you, which is causing you to reflect. And that reflection could cause it could be causing levels of uncomfortability. You might feel like there's a lack of clarity or contradictions in terms of who you see. I was looking in the mirror. I'll be real with you. This person is examining themselves. You could be doing a lot of introspection at this time and there's some sort of contradictions about maybe who you were and now who you are trying to be or changing something up or identity. There's something coming up where you're introspecting yourself and trying to, okay, you know what you're also doing for some of you here? You're looking back to your childhood. Child of spells. Maybe when you were more carefree and unencumbered, there could for some of you also be this nostalgia of when you didn't have so much stress and worries or when there was a vulnerability to you as a child and you've grown up and certain struggles, programming, things have happened to change the person that you used to be when you were younger more innocent something like this is significant for someone here two of challenges i see you now at a standstill trying to process and work through these confusions in a bid to move forward and start a new journey for yourself what else please the fairy wind what else please Progress is coming in some form. Okay. Direction. You're being asked to invest in your stability. 0808 on the clock. And when I say, say stability, you're being asked to invest in balancing out your scales. Making peace with your past. Making peace with who you are changing things that aren't bringing you into alignment with the person that you want to be yeah suspension the the universe has got you tightly caged in at this time you might feel it the universe has got you encased in encased in its arms wanting you to see things from a higher perspective from a different perspective wanting you to level up spiritually 0909 for your soul's growth you're stressed around your finances your money some form of wealth your legacy there is anxiety here you could feel like you're having to start again Aries Sleepless nights is significant. Don't, okay, some of you, there's a resistance here, whether you're resisting these things happening. I'll be real with you, for some of you, you're needing to lose everything in order to start over so that you can level up spiritually. The things that you have achieved, received, the most high could be saying to you, 
you haven't achieved them or received them or acquired them through the right means that's not everyone's message but it could be for some therefore you're needing to lose everything in order to be built back up again spiritually and whole yeah it goes back to someone's childhood i'm telling you childhood spells you could be really emotional right now concealing it from others not saying anything or something to do with someone possibly you could be yeah you could be identifying people that are snaky that don't have your best interests at heart and you could be holding back i see you off to yourself just in this hanged man position trying to gain enlightenment on how to manifest, on what to manifest, on using your resources to 11.11 to manifest, to bring about some form of alchemy for your greater good. All right, I'm going to leave that there. There was a lot in there. So again, only take what resonates with you, disregard the rest areas. And I'll see you back in another video. Namaste.